In this video, we're going to talk about the copy features within Google Classroom when you're making assignments. If I go to the Classwork tab and then create a new assignment, I can give the assignment a title, give it instructions, and then add an attachment. In this case, I'm going to add a Google Doc as an attachment and click Insert. A very common mistake to make is not selecting the right option from this drop-down box. This drop-down box controls how students are able to interact with the file that you've attached. So because this is a Google Doc and it's your file, you can give them control to view it, edit it, or get their own copy of it. So the first option here is the default one, students can view the file. This allows students to view your file, but they can't make any changes to it. So that's great if you want to give them something as a reference, but not have them make any changes to it. The second option is edit the file. This is a little chaotic, but some teachers do want this. Editing the same file can be handy if you're sharing something you want everybody to collaborate on. I've seen some art teachers who would share a Google slideshow and then each student had their own individual slide that they would add art to. Perhaps you're sharing a Jamboard that you want everybody to interact with, but just remember that if you give all the students the ability to edit the file, that gives them the ability to mess with each other's work. So if you have students that are a little um, less mature in your classroom, you may want to be a little bit careful using this students can edit file feature. The most common one that people are looking for is the make a copy for each student option. So what this does is takes your file that you've attached, treats that like a template, and duplicates it for each student. Each student gets their own individual copy that they can modify and then submit as an assignment. Just to recap, your options are to let students view the file, edit the file, or each get their own individual copy. Once you have assigned this file, you can't change this option. The only way you can really change the option is to delete the assignment and recreate it, which could be a little bit chaotic. A lot of teachers make this mistake, so don't feel so bad if you do it yourself. But once you've assigned this to your students, you're not able to change this option. I hope that answers how attachments that are assigned to students are handled in Google Classroom. At the end of the video, you're gonna see a playlist to other Google Classroom videos. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.